maybe that's conceivable as well. Another explanation for the Fermi paradox might be that civilizations live and die. They rise and then they fall. And because of the sheer timescales involved and the sheer size of the galaxy, no two civilizations ever overlap. I once had the great pleasure of meeting Frank Drake, the Drake equation, a legend, in his house. And he also grows orchids. And I arrived at his house just coincidentally on the day that this rare orchid flowers. And it flowers for, I think, one or two days and then goes away again for the year and then flowers again the next year for one or two days. And he used it as an analogy. He said, well, maybe civilizations are like that. So maybe civilizations are like rare orchids. And so they flower and die and flower and die. And just because of the sheer timescales involved, none of them ever overlap. And so there could be the wreckage, the, the ashes, the fossils of civilizations out there. But of course, we would have no way of knowing uh, until we explore the galaxy and maybe find the, the ruins of these other civilizations. Who knows? I mean, it's quite plausible if you think about it. Are we going to exist in 10,000 years time? It's to a large extent in our hands. Maybe we're <laughs> sufficiently stupid that we won't exist beyond the next century.